This little girl came to us all the way from Romania to work on rehabbing movement following a stroke. The MRI shows a lot of damage actually to the right side of her brain. A lot of people really throw in the towel with these kids and say, hey, this is what it is. You can do some PT, you can do some occupational therapy. But when you have specialized technology and you're able to appropriately provide stimulus to the body and brain and support the brain's and nervous system throughout that stimuli, it's a really powerful combination. A young child has millions of stem cells still ready to be activated. And so when we're able to activate networks, activate sensory areas of her brain, activate the motor areas of her brain, and support that with photobiomodulation, with therapy laser, you can actually activate stem cells and make those stem cells become productive neurons. So when we have a brain injury, whether it's a concussion or cerebral palsy, or in this case, a stroke, there's still a lot of progress to be made with specialized therapy. So we're using the M field to create muscle contractions, provide sensory feedback on her left side, while Miss Alex is uh, using transcranial photobiomodulation, therapy laser on her motor cortex where she perceives and controls this left arm. When the brain is injured, the default tone is plexor tone. So we're trying to activate all of her extensor muscles. So that's wrist extensors, that's her triceps, her elbow extensors, even the postural muscles that provide uprightness and support to the head, neck, and mid-back. All of this is gonna help develop motor skills, improve range of motion, decrease spasticity, and this will allow a highly cognitive little girl's body to keep up with her brain.